Hey guys, it's George from MyNaturalHerniaCure.com and I wanted to talk to you this time about uh, directional breathing or meditation for a hernia. Usually, um, I don't talk too much about this. I try not to get too zen. Um, you know, I don't want you guys to think I'm some sort of, you know, like meditation guru or some kind of freak that thinks that, you know, all you have to do is is breathe and meditate and you can heal yourself. I, I, don't, I don't believe that, but I do believe that there's a part of it that uh, is beneficial um, to the mind-body connection. You know, your mind and body are definitely connected and uh, certain thought processes do facilitate healing. Um, so I just wanted to, to show you what I do. I, I call it directional breathing. Um, and then you could decide for yourself if you like it. If you like it, you know, do it. If you don't, then don't. Either way, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to kind of put it out there to show you guys what I do. So basically, when I breathe in, I'm, it's called directional breathing because I'm breathing air in and directing that air down right into the hernia where, I have, where, where the hernia is. And then when I breathe out, it's basically pulling any bad stuff out from where the hernia is and blowing out of your mouth. Usually I do it when I'm laying down. I'm going to do it while I'm you know, sitting in like a meditating position for you guys because it'd be kind of hard to get a video of me doing it while I was laying down. But what I do is I lay down flat on the ground, my, my legs a little bit spread apart and my arms out to my sides, my hands up like this. I work from my feet up and I think in my head, I just get super relaxed and I think about the weight of my body from my feet, just really just getting weighted down. Just let yourself get super heavy starting at your feet. Then you go, go up to your calves. Think about your calf muscles relaxing and get pulled down into the ground. Be, you know, right behind your knees, up to your hamstrings and really concentrate on each part of your body getting super heavy and pulling down. Your butt, work your way up to your back. You know, I make sure my, my back is just like nice and flat on the ground. It's really supported on the ground. Up in between my shoulder blades, my neck and then my head. And then once, it, once I have that, once I feel like I'm grounded, I'm, I'm real nice and heavy on the ground, then I'll start to, to do the breathing. And I, I do it with my eyes closed. And what I do is I, when I breathe in, I breathe in a full load of air, I fill up my stomach first. So you're gonna breathe in, fill up your stomach, and then your lungs on top of that. So you get all, your, your, your entire lung, both lungs are just all the way filled up with air. And then when you go to blow out, you start at your stomach and push, you know, contract your stomach to push, push the air from the bottom of your lungs all the way up from the top of your lungs and out of your mouth. Okay. And while I'm breathing in, I'm thinking picture like um, when it's freezing cold out, you walk outside and it's got the air has got that nice, crisp, cold, fresh feeling. I'm, I'm picturing in my mind that I'm sucking in air like that that's super clean and clear and crisp and it's going down right into where the hernia is. And then, at, and then once it gets there, at the bottom of my breath, when I'm all the way filled up, I'll picture like almost like two thumbs, like kneading like the, uh, the fascia, the hole where the hernia is. I'll picture that's what I'm looking, I'm seeing in my mind, my thumbs like this from the inside, just kind of smoothing out that hole. And then it's only, it's only a second, you know, it's only a brief second that you picture that, but you do picture it at the bottom of your breath. And then as soon as you start that breath out, you're picturing smoke, like nasty black, like the smoke from, a, from an 18 wheeler truck coming out of the exhaust pipe, just nastiness, breathing out the nastiness, okay? And um, you can do that, you know, for as long as you feel like you can do it. I usually do, I don't know, maybe five minutes, something like that. Not super long. Um, but now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I, when I fill my lungs up with the breath. Like I said, it goes down into the bottom of my stomach. So my stomach's going to push out and then my lungs are going to fill up. And then when I breathe out, I'm going to constrict my stomach and then breathe all the air out from the bottom up. Okay. So I go...
and don't be afraid to even like you know make a noise make like just let it out let all that nastiness just let it all come out I don't think when you when, when you're doing that I think you're you're letting go attention you're letting go a lot a lot of stuff when you're when you're doing that so not only is it good for the mind body connection but it's also great for the the transverse abs which are the which are the muscles that come right down around the inguinal canal that's basically those are the muscles that are holding back the intestines from pushing through the inguinal canal into you know through the fascia and causing the hernia breathing is what exercises those muscles so when you breathe super deep like that and you're push you know pushing your stomach out and really sucking in all that air and then pushing you know all that force you're using your diaphragm to push all that air out now to your lungs that's the only way to contract and relax those transverse abs that are in there that are holding all that back but i figured i'd throw it out there just you know to let everybody know that this is part of the regimen that i do for my hernia i think it works it can it helps me connect my mind and my body and uh, really visualizing those those thumbs at the bottom of your breath that just needing the fascia like where it's really just like kind of closing that hole up um, is what I think I get a lot out of that just visually being able to focus on that in my mind so give it a shot and uh, if you like it let me know if you don't like it whatever let me know that too if you got any questions or comments hit me up thanks guys